I'm Debbie Ford, Manager of Affiliate Marketing with GoodAccountants.com. I'm on location in San Diego, California at Coleman University. My name is Coleman Furr and my title is the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Coleman University. I founded the school in 1963 and the reason I started the school was that I would worked for another company and installed their very first computer but I discovered that, that the people that I hired uh, either didn't have the proper experience or they hadn't had a the right education and I'd go home and complain to my wife about it and if you complain to your wife long enough what happens is she ends up telling you well, why don't you do something about it so I began thinking about it and decided I golly I could do it I could start a school and do a better job than anybody else and so I did and I started Coleman University at the beginning we had one teacher and 14 students and I was the teacher and um, I managed to teach all 14 of the students and uh, then we we got another class started and at that time I hired another teacher to, to help and I mean it seemed like each month I had to hire another teacher the first year uh, that we had the school we had a hundred thousand dollars worth of revenue and uh, made a small profit. By that time we had a 15,000 square foot building and um, and we gradually we moved to two other buildings and this this present location is um, the biggest one we've had. We have a total of 87,000 square feet of buildings here and it's big enough to last for a long time. Our basic field is computers and I am a computer programmer and I've been a computer programmer since well before I st founded this organization in fact I went to my very first IBM school in 1946 right after I got out of the army in World War II so I've been a programmer for a long time and I wrote all of the programs that are currently in use here at Coleman University now they have been modified by uh, by some of our other personnel down through the years, but the basic programs were all written by me. Hello, my name is Prit Paul Panasar, and I'm the president of Coleman University. I've been with uh, Coleman for the last uh, 20 years plus, and uh, I started my career here uh, as a systems analyst and then uh, moved on to various positions such as uh, chief information officer, then became the executive vice president and I've served as the president now for the last five years. Coleman University has evolved uh, through many stages in the past and uh, we've arrived at a point where uh, technology uh, changes at much faster rate and we have to keep up with technology uh, almost on a daily basis. We have a department that's totally dedicated towards doing research in, in curriculum and development. Right now we have about just a little over 600 students in two campuses. We have another campus in San Marcos, but the majority of our students are here in, in San Diego. Uh, we teach uh, using a unique concept known as inverted curriculum. And uh, inverted cur curriculum basically means that we teach our students the subjects that they need most to get into the job market immediately. So it, we don't teach uh, the general ed subjects that they're going to need for their uh, matriculation to a degree but we teach them within nine me month period all the technical concepts hands-on uh, that they're going to need to get into the job market. Most educational institutions that are in our field teach an awful lot of theory. We don't teach theory. We teach you how to do it. And from the day that you start your classes, the very first day, you're going to be on the computer and doing things. And you're going to do things 
the way that the employers want you to do them. And we give practical work all the time. And our students are always working on things the way the employers want them to be educated. That's the key. Tell us the story about how you tap well, it on the head for good luck that your students do that. Well, yeah. My wife came up with the idea of having this. I was kind of against it, but she insisted, so we got it. At any rate, we have a new custom that has happened. The students who are getting ready to take a test go up and tap it right on the head like that for good luck. <laughs> How's that work for them? I, I hope it works. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they get the easy questions that way. Yeah, right, right. Tap the head. Yeah. Ah, now you'll pass the <laughs> test. <laughs> okay. These three plaques here. My mother did all of this needlepoint. Oh, wow. This is the theater. This is the theater. There's no students in here right now, but this is a busy place when we have classes in here at night. We have, um, we have lectures in here for our students in the master's program and as you can see we we can teach a lot of we can we can talk to a lot of people in here what we do in the normal way of our class first you get a lecture and then we break up into three groups mm -hmm. one group goes to one place for for discussion another group goes to another place and I stay in here with the remaining group and we have our discussions about the things we've just learned. We have a great team here at Coleman that's totally dedicated. We have a department that's totally dedicated towards doing research in curriculum and development. And uh, where we see, foresee Coleman University headed is uh, in the areas of uh, what we are hearing a lot about, uh, about cloud computing. Uh, Google and uh, Amazon and uh, a lot of the other large uh, conglomerates are actually uh, running those systems at this point. So how do we uh, help uh, the community and our local companies here achieve that dream is to teach those technologies here. And we make ourselves a part of that whole process by doing the research and, and development internally and prepare that, those programs so that uh, our students become recipients of that knowledge, that skill set, that base which will help them succeed and uh, uh, help uh, the community achieve those uh, goals. This is a kind of a traditional classroom. These look like bright students. Are you bright? <laughs> I hope you are. Huh? <laughs> these, these flags up here, uh, we've had at least one student from every one of these countries. Uh, I don't even know how many there are, but and uh, we've always had a lot of foreign students and we don't even know how they come sometimes. We, right now we have two from Japan, we have one from Denmark, we have a lot from India and a lot from Kenya and uh, it's just incredible where we get them from. Morocco, Iraq, Afghanistan, Egypt, USSR, I don't even know where some of these Tanzania, are. Tanzania, Nepal, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, Russian Federation, yeah, wow. Palestine, wow. yeah, Ukraine, just amazing. But we get a lot of them. At the present time, we've got uh, a database of about 1,500 employers oh. who hire our Coleman graduates. Oh. And what we do frequently is to meet with them on a regular basis. And uh, these are the people who get the big government contracts. Um, they know what they are looking at towards the technology, the future of technology. So we meet with them. They gave us the feedback saying, this is what we're going to be developing in the next year, next three years, and next five years. And uh, we take that information and bring it to our curriculum development department and tell them, well, this is what we are looking at. So start preparing and writing that curriculum so that by the time our students graduate from the university, they will hit the ground running. So tell me, where are we? What is this room? This is, <laughs> well, this is the rec room? Sort of, in the, sort of in the, this is the student lounge. And so we have a bunch of gaming things over there and some food if they want it. Almost nobody in this industry is really concerned about getting their people a job. We think that's what they're here for. 
They come here, they're scared. They don't have a job when they come here. So many times, they want a job. Well, you know, anywhere from 93 to 95% of our graduates get jobs. And that's what they're looking for. So why would they choose Coleman? Absolutely, because they want to better their lives, not only t uh, through the technology and learning about technology, but also that they know that their future is secure by coming here, that they will have a job at the end. So this is going to be the Coleman Tech Charter High School. You got it. Now, you see we have a rather tall ceiling here. We've got a lot of room, don't we, huh? And I want to introduce you to Sam. That's Sam. Mm -hmm. What happens if you pet him on the head? Is that good uh, luck, Sam? Well, you, if you, you don't, you're not supposed to put your hand in there because he's going to bite you. Okay, but I can... But I he's can. an old friend of mine. Uh, what we've got here, we're starting a charter high school. Mm -hmm. Now, our charter school is part of the San Diego Unified District. We get, our, we get our license from them, and we will be starting this school next September. And this is a typical classroom in here, and... We are using this classroom now to show, to show the parents and the children who are going to be coming here. We, we have a meeting here about every other week, mm -hmm. and we'll have until we get them all fully enrolled. What will be the criteria for the, the kids that are enrolling into this school? Will it be um, just parents' choice of a, of a... Parents' choice, and well, we like to call it children's choice. <laughs> One of the joys of working here at Coleman, and the reason I've been here for so long, is because we help transform lives in such a short period of time. I happen to think, <laughs> I happen to think that our students are wonderful, and I'm so proud of our students. Um, yeah, they're wonderful. In order to receive the next episode of GA Access, you must become a subscriber. It's absolutely free. Simply click the yellow button on the right-hand side of this page marked Subscribe to GA Access TV and submit your name and email address. It's the only way we can send you the next upcoming episode of GA Access. Keep yourself informed about quality clients who are looking for a good accountant.